This is your time. I define belief as confidence in your talents, abilities, and ideas, faith in your talents, abilities, and ideas, and trust in your talents, abilities, and ideas. Believing in your talents, abilities, and ideas is what will get you started and what will keep you going through your long journey toward excellence. Believing in yourself will not only get you started, but it will generate momentum that keeps you going. Unfortunately, way too many people don't have beliefs that empower them. Instead, they have limiting beliefs that shut down their power. A limiting belief is a state of mind or belief about yourself that restricts you in some way. These beliefs are often false accusations you make about yourself that can cause you a number of negative results. Limiting beliefs can also keep you in a negative state of mind, which hinders you from attracting new opportunities, preparing for those opportunities, and then taking advantage of them once they arise. We frequently learn at a very young age to think negative thoughts that shut us down. These negative thoughts are referred to as negative self-talk. Negative self-talk is a stressful and often habitual form of self-criticism. These are thoughts where we put ourselves down instead of picking ourselves up. Everyone has negative thoughts from time to time, especially about themselves. For example, you might think, I'll never understand the assignment, or I'll never get that recipe right. At first glance, those aren't necessarily worrying because they can push you to practice and improve. However, when these kinds of thoughts occur over and over and over and over, day after day, month after month, year after year, they become a persistent focus that can increase your stress and lower your self-esteem. If you find yourself focusing on what's wrong with everything around you, negative self-talk may be part of the problem. If you remember all the way back in concept number five about how you should focus on the positive and stop focusing on the negative. Negative self-talk, if you constantly engage in it, gets you used to having that negative voice inside your head running through comment after comment without stopping. That's just not good and this concept number 17 is designed to help you stop doing that. One way to do that is paying attention to our thoughts. Are we being positive or are we being negative? If we're being positive, keep going. If we're being negative, then it's an excellent time to fall back on our old friend, the stop method. If you sense you're being negative, stop, even if it's just for an instant. Think about what you're thinking. Observe if it's positive or negative. If it's positive, then you can proceed. If it's negative, you should take a moment to switch it around to something positive and then proceed after having done so. Negative self-talk can be a killer and it's a tough thing to overcome. But it's not an impossible thing to overcome. If you become aware that you're doing it, and if you consciously choose to turn your thoughts around and start thinking positive thoughts. Constantly engaging in negative self-talk can bring about another condition known as learned helplessness. Learned helplessness is a state of mind where a person has a sense of powerlessness arising either from some event in the past or simply from a persistent failure to succeed. Negative self-talk is persistently telling yourself that you're not going to succeed. Negative self-talk is one of the key causes of learned helplessness. If you're feeling helpless, then it's going to be tough for you to make the necessary changes in your life that will get you from where you are to where you want to be. In working with countless clients, the one thing I've seen over and over is that they have doubts as to whether or not what they want to achieve is truly possible. Is it possible for me to lose weight? Is it possible for me to go back to school and get some more training? Is it possible for me to get a date with that good looking girl at the party? The list of potential doubts goes on and on and on. 
I encountered doubts like that when I finally decided to permanently lose the weight I needed to lose and to get in shape. Think about it. I was 300 plus pounds at the time and I wanted to get down to probably 175 or so. On many levels, I'm sure I doubted my ability to accomplish the task at hand. But this time was different. I ignored those doubts and said, I don't even care about those doubts. I just said, I'm going to start eating better and I'm going to start exercising and we'll see where I ultimately end up. Along the way, as I got stronger and stronger and more and more confident, I continually pushed myself to the edge of my beliefs about my ability to get in shape. Guess what happened every time I pushed myself to the edge of my beliefs? The self-imposed barriers I had came crashing down and I pushed past those barriers, way past. I was right. I couldn't make it to 175 pounds, but I could make it to 130 pounds, all with no drugs and no surgeries. All of this was accomplished because I learned to believe in myself and I was willing to put in the work required to get me from where I was to where I wanted to be. Today, I am way past where I wanted to be. Does that mean I should stop and rest on my laurels? No way, baby. By blowing way past my self-imposed barriers, it's made me realize that those barriers were just a bunch of BS and I'm capable of more than I could have ever possibly imagined. Way more. I've come to the conclusion that I'm nowhere near the end of my personal journey of evolution and that I have more things to accomplish. Many more things. It is out of this personal evolution that the way of excellence system was born. I'm nowhere near the end of my journey. In fact, I'm just getting started. I believe you too have the ability to accomplish way more than you might have ever dreamed possible. Do you like this video? Would you like more? If so, subscribe to the Way of Excellence channel by clicking my picture in the lower right corner at the end of this video. Be sure to come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday as that's when I post new videos. Also, be sure to leave your comments below. I'll try to respond promptly. Until next time, take care.